Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be the greatest day of your life. You know, you're a busy person. Every day you have a long to-do list and you get most things done, yet you're not getting the results you want. And you may ask yourself, what's going on, Doug? I'm watching your channel. I'm implementing a lot of the recommendations that you're making, but I'm just not getting the results I want. While others will say, I'm getting amazing results. Things have turned around like you said, and things are going really great for me. Well, you know what? If you're asking yourself, what's going on? I believe that Wallace Waddles addressed this in his book, The Science of Getting Rich. You see, throughout the book, Waddles speaks about doing things in a certain way. And by doing things in a certain way, it works to help you reach your goals and any other aspect of your life that you want to improve. And while Waddles describes what this is in his book, I find that many people still find it hard to define and therefore struggle to act in a certain way. Now, you see, if you're busy all the time but still aren't getting what you want, I'd like to discuss today some of the primary components of efficient action in doing things in a certain way. And I hope my explanation spells it out for most and makes it something that you have the ability to implement to help boost your results. Number one, do your best. Now, when you're putting forth your personal best effort in each situation, you more than fill your present space. You see, by always doing your best and by acting in a certain way that leads to the fulfillment of your dreams, you're going down the right track. I want to tell you a quick story. You see, before he was elected president of the United States, Jimmy Carter wrote a book in which he talked about his graduation as a naval officer. I always found this so impressive. After finishing his training, he applied for a job in the Navy. He was interviewed by Admiral Rickover, who was a man Carter greatly admired. And the Admiral was a demanding officer who said to him, Where did you come in your class at the Naval Academy? And with a measure of pride, Carter said, Sir, I was 59th in a class of 840. And Jimmy Carter said he expected uh, the normal shower of praise that he got by indicating that. But instead, the Admiral confronted him with a penetrating question. He said, Jimmy, did you do your best? Carter thought about it for a moment and then said, honestly, No, sir, I did not always do my best. And after a long, awkward silence, the admiral said, why not? You know, Jimmy Carter was so impacted by that question from the admiral that he decided that from then on, he would always do his best. He even entitled his book, Why Not the Best? And as you know, later it became the theme of his presidential campaign. You see, when we develop a mind that you will always do your best, you will ensure that you act in a certain way as Waddles described it. It can make all the difference between falling short of your goals and accomplishing things you never dreamed were possible. The second one, take actions that are always of a positive and increasing nature. You see, always add value to the people around you those you're working with, customers you're serving, and anyone else you encounter in life. And when you act in a certain way, you're refraining from actions that are negative or seek to take away from others. Instead, you make people feel better by leaving a situation or a conversation better because of the positive energy and value that you brought to it. Give more in use value than you receive in cash value. Now, I talk to my kids about this all the time. This is important and one of my favorite aspects of acting in a certain way. You see, no one ever experiences great success if they just create a fair deal or do what is required. And Charles Kendall Adams, the American historian who lived in the 1800s, said, no one ever attains very eminent success by simply doing what is required of him. It is the amount and excellence of what is over and above what is required that determines the greatness of ultimate distinction.
You see, you've got to go above and beyond the norm. And as Napoleon Hill said, unless you're prepared to do more than you are being paid for, you will never be paid for more than you are doing. You know, if you're just doing what you have to do today, in my opinion, that's going to be a pretty mediocre day. You see, efficient action in acting a certain way is going beyond what is required of you. Just add that little bit of extra each day. It can make a huge difference and turn things around in a positive manner so that you begin walking down that path again towards your goals and attainment becomes something that you're realizing on a regular basis. Number four, fix the image of what you want down to the smallest detail in your mind. You see, then you will become enthused, not just by contemplating the picture, but by developing and designing it in your mind. And then you will do what is necessary each day to move towards that picture. You see, Kathleen Norris, the American novelist, said, Before you begin a thing, remind yourself that difficulties and delays quite impossible to foresee are ahead. You can only see one thing clearly. And that is your goal. Form a mental vision of that goal in your head and cling to it through thick and thin. You know, in other words, life is not a straight line. Stuff's going to happen that you don't want or expect to happen. And there are going to be delays and difficulties that you can't always see coming. But because your mind is on what you want, you will keep doing all that you can be all that can be done each day to reach your goal. Number five, make each day successful. Now, one of my favorite gentlemen, Earl Nightingale, once said, one day at a time handled successfully will carry you over every hurdle and will solve every problem. And you see what he meant by that was, with each small action that you perform, recognize that it's part of the bigger picture and do it with a positive and loving energy. Each individual activity you are doing serves your overall purpose and goals. You see, successful action is cumulative in its results. If you do everything as well as you can today, then do the same the day after that, and the day after that, you're working effectively and efficiently, and success comes one day at a time. You know, and don't confuse the two, you know, efficient action with effective action. To be effective means you're doing the right things, but being efficient means you're doing the right things the right way. And efficiency thinks long-term, effectiveness focuses on the now. You know, a good example of this is personal fitness. Year after year, millions of people make resolutions to get in shape, right? And you know, while quite a few after a few days or weeks quit, some manage to go to the gym all year long. And for those who stick with it working out, at the end of the year, only about half of them achieve the kind of results they really expected to get from going to the gym every day for a year. You may ask yourself why. What differentiates the people who see their desired results and the ones who don't? The ones that succeed create an image of themselves being fit. They ask for help. They focus on what they're doing while they're working and strive and, and, and do the best they can to improve their workout day after day. You know, I believe that the group that fails doesn't really believe they can get fit. They go it alone, they mindlessly work out, and do the same workout every time they go to the gym. You see, both groups engage in effective actions of working out, but only the group that succeeds is efficient. You see, efficient action brings success, and inefficient action brings failure. You know, when you start a new business, a project, or a relationship, and your heart is not in the new venture, your actions will be inefficient, and the new venture is guaranteed to fail. 
So you see what I'm saying now, right? Take the time to reflect on your actions and, and see how they can be paramount to your success. You know, from time to time, we all need to evaluate our own personal actions and decide if we're being efficient or if we're being effective. You know, effective actions eventually get things done. Efficient actions get things done faster and better because we're giving it our all. You know, I just wanted to share this with you today. If you're struggling a little bit with results, struggling with turning things around for yourself, implementing any of the recommendations I'm making, you know, this isn't the lottery. You're not just going to boom, switch things overnight for the most of us. Some people do see those quick and those quick results come right away and they come over and over and over again. And it can happen for you too. But if it doesn't, remember that you just need to begin acting in a certain way. And that can be the catalyst that changes everything. Friends, I believe in you, I care about you, and listen, if anybody's worth it, you are. You have everything you need within you to make your dreams, goals, and desires become a reality. All you need to do is make a decision. If you want to change your life, sometimes all you have to do is change your life. I care about you, I believe in you, and I know that you can do it. Listen, I'll be back tomorrow with some great recommendations. It's going to be wonderful. And remember, there's nobody in the world who can be you because you're unique. Therefore, be the best you that you can be and the world will reward you. I guarantee it. Take care and have a beautiful day. I'll be back tomorrow.